Christianity is not primarily a philosophy of life or a code of behavior uh, or even a set of rituals. It is the story of what God himself has said and done in space and in time, in the person of his Son on earth and the work of his Spirit through the ages. We remember the words of Jesus, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The history of Christianity is to some extent the story of the fulfillment of that prophecy. Christianity began as a small sect within Palestinian Judaism, but by the end of the first century it had already become a significant force within the Roman Empire. When Jesus died, the Roman governor Pontius Pilate required that the words, This is Jesus, King of the Jews, be written on his cross in three languages, in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. These three languages represented the three worlds into which the early Christians carried their message of a crucified and risen Redeemer. Among Jesus' disciples and early Christian evangelists, the Apostle Paul was his greatest interpreter. Paul was a Jew like Jesus, but unlike many of the other disciples, he was classically educated, a member of the Jewish elite, and free to travel throughout the Roman Empire and among the Gentiles. One of the most important decisions of the early church was the retention of the Old Testament as Christian scripture. Above all else, this meant that the God of creation, the God of the covenant, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was none other than the God and Father of the Messiah, Jesus. And the world of Greek culture. Since the time of Alexander the Great, some 300 years before Christ, the Mediterranean world had been drawn together into a common intellectual and cultural unity, which we know as Hellenism. A new form of the Greek language, the koine, or common tongue, came into general use. It was in this language that the New Testament itself was written. And the message of Jesus spread throughout the Roman Empire. Christianity came into contact with Greek ideas and philosophical traditions, with the heritage of Plato and Aristotle. An early Christian father from Carthage named Tertullian asked the famous question, what has Athens to do with Jerusalem? <laughs> this tension between faith and reason, between philosophy and theology, would run throughout the Christian movement right down to the present day. Christianity made its way in the world of Roman order as well. For more than 200 years, the world had known a period of relative peace and stability known as the Pax Romana, the Roman peace. It was during this time that the Christian church was born and the story of Jesus carried along the major highways and well-developed sea routes of the Roman Empire. From the beginning, Christianity was a missionary movement with a worldwide vision and a universal message.